Good evening, sir. Good evening. <laughs> So two children join right now, okay? Uh, let's wait for one, two minutes more, okay? Tanishka, two more minutes will join. Just see whether we are not coming right now. Okay, sir. Okay, now we start the meeting. Okay, all of you on the camera now. We'll start the class. Mm. Sir, my uh, camera doesn't work, sir. Why? What happened? Yesterday also it's having the same thing. Same laptop, sir. This laptop camera doesn't work. And change your laptop. Yes, sir. Before the laptop was different. Uh, yes, sir. So we are doing uh, linear equation two variables, right? So we have done which exercise? First exercise we have finished or what? Uh, yeah, we have finished the first exercise, I believe, right? And then. Hmm, one minute. Let me check. Rainy and Tanishka on your cameras. Yes, sir. Don't get on. This is not working. So you can't see the complete book, right? I'll just share the complete book now. Complete screen on the sharing right now on that. This was a chapter, or well, normally this is this, right? Chapter number third, right? After this chapter will come. Hmm. This was the exercise we have done yesterday. Uh, till this question number seventh, okay? 
Fifth, we have not done study. You can do question number fifth. Can I do question number fifth, children? See here, it's given here. Half the perimeter of rectangular garden. And see, what is the perimeter of rectangular garden? Formula of half the perimeter. Perimeter means what? A boundary. Huh? What? Boundary of any shape or... Yeah, yeah. Boundary of any shape. Correct. So, in rectangle, what is the boundary? What is the length of boundary here? In this case, what is the length of this boundary? This is L. This is also L. This is B. This is B. What is perimeter, Tanishka? So, perimeter will be L plus B plus L plus B, which is basically 2 into L plus B. So, 2 into L plus B. And this half the perimeter is mentioned here, half the perimeter. So, divide by 2. L plus B will be 36. Whose length will be 4 more than its width. The uh -huh. so first you should write here. Let the... Uh, what? length be uh, 4 meter more than width, right? So let the breadth first you write, breadth be x. Breadth be x and then length what we can write? Length be what? x plus 4. This much you understood? Because it's mentioned here that length is 4 more than its width. If width is x, if breadth is x, so length will be x plus 4. And another one is given half the perimeter. Half the perimeter of rectangular garden whose length is 4 more than its width. So this is, is 36 meter. This whole thing is 36. It's not given that x plus y is equal to 36 or something like that, right? It's given that let the breadth means perimeter, half the perimeter of the rectangular garden is nothing but what? 36. Or you can do other method also. You can let x and y. Breadth be x and this you let y. Okay. The equation, this one becomes 1. So here 2, 2 will get cancelled. In place of L, what you should write? y plus x is equal to 36. This is equation number 1, right? And second equation, what you can make? From here, you should make the equation then. Length is, length means what? Y is, is equals to X plus 4. This is a second equation. Can you solve both the equations now by substitution method? Yes, tell me, uh, Hansini, how to solve these two equations over here by substitution method? What is the first step? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Tell me. We can write uh, y is equals to 36x like that. Or... Yeah, you can write in that way only. But this one, see, it's given already. X is, x, y is equal to x plus 4. The same y value you can put in first. Okay. So put the, put the... x plus 4 plus x is equals to 36. Yeah, put the value of, put the y in equation number 1. So we can write it as uh, x plus 4, again plus x is equal to 36. So 2x is equal to 30, sorry, 36 minus 4. So 2x is equal to 32. x is equal to 16. We get x is equal to what? 16. Yes. If x is equal to 16, then what is y? y is equal to x plus 4. That is 16 plus 4, that is 20. Yeah. This is 20. Fine. Yes, sir. So this exercise, I believe this is finished. All of us, we have done this, right? So here, question number six is like similar only. So give, given the linear equation, can you see question number six? Given the linear equation, 2x plus 3y uh, minus 8 is equals to 0. Write another linear equations in two variables such that the geometrical representation of the pair so formed is intersecting lines. 
then parallel lines, coincident lines, and all. Okay. So you can do that, right? Intersecting line means what? A1 by A2 should not be equal to B1 by B2. You can just make it easily, right? It's clear. No, you can, you can form the equation or not. Wait, I'll tell you. People are not getting confidence over here. So I'll just do a question for you. Harshit, you know this? Sixth one. See here, A1, B1, and C1 is given over here. So here, A1 is 2, B1 is 3, and C1 is minus 8. So if you, if you tell about intersecting lines, if you tell about intersecting lines, intersecting lines, so what is the condition for this? A1 by A2. A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2 not equal to b1 by b2 so you can just write in number of equations as such right so if a1 by a2 you take it as here 2 is given if you write in a2 you can write here suppose 4 you are writing and it should not equal to you should write so here 3 is there here should not 6 should not come except 6 you can write anything whatever you want except 6 you can write whatever you want right here 4 only understood what i'm saying and see whatever you want to just write. So, see, so this is 4. This is A2. This is B2. B2 you can write except 6 anything. And C2 can be anything you write. Any. Okay. No problem at all. So what is the equation here? 4x plus 4y plus 3 is equal to 0. You can write in this way. No problem. Only condition should be what? A1 by A2 should not be equal to B1 by B2. It's clear to everyone or not? You can write in number yes, of questions, in number of things you can write. You can write here four in place of four, you can write anything except six. And this can be anything, right? So similarly, similarly for parallel lines, I'll ask you one, 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 one question from everyone. For parallel lines, one, one equation you should tell me now, okay? Parallel lines. I'll ask one equation from Hansini, one from Tanishka, one from Harshit, one from Rainy, okay? So this A1 is given as 2, B1 is given as 3, C1 is given as minus 8. So what should be the equation for parallel lines, which is having next equation? What should, can we write? Rainy, tell me. So it has to be A1 by A2. Oh, yeah, A1 by A2 equals to B1 by B2, but does not equal to C1 by C2. Okay, then what we get the equation we become? Equation you tell me what equation we can write. Um, for a one by a two, we could do like two by four equals to three by six, and then does not equal to minus eight by fifteen. Yeah, fine. Then this is our first equation. She has told this is four, six, fifteen. The equation would be four x plus six y plus fifteen is equals to zero. This is the correct answer. Next, Harshit. Yes, sir. Tell me this second, what we can write second example, you tell me. For parallel lines? Yes. So you can write um, one. Okay, one means x, right? One is, wait. Okay, you mean like that. Uh, yeah, one, four, and like 18. See, A1 is given as 2, B1 is given as 3, and C1 is given as minus 8. Now you tell me what can be written over here. So that this A1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 and not equal to C1 by C2. What we can write over here? You just tell me the down part here. 4, no, like 6, 9, and then like 16, no, no. 24. Anything, whatever you want to put, no problem at all. 8 down, if you write 1 also, not a problem, okay? Okay, sir. So, 6x plus 9x plus 1 is equals to 0. Third one, Ansini. Oh, I'm doing it for one minute. Okay, Tanishka, you tell me now. Sir, 2 by 8 is equal to 3 by 12. 
uh, is not equal to minus 8 by 11. Yeah, so equation will be 8x plus. So it's not equal to minus 8 by 11. Huh? Is not equal to, um, you wrote equal to minus yeah, yeah, 8. Yeah, not equal to, yes. And plus 11 is equals to 0. Fine. Now you can tell me, Hansini. Yes, sir. 2 by 10. Okay, is two, that's to, one yes. Okay, 2 by 10 is equals to uh, 3 by 15. Okay, is, is not to, is equals to minus 8 by 16. Hmm. No, uh, 17. 16 is also fine, not a problem. 8, 1 by 2 is coming. No, this is 1 by 5. So, 1 by 2 is also pro not a problem. So, 10x plus 15y plus 16 is equal to 0. Okay, fine. Similarly, you can do for in, uh, coincident lines. Okay. Similarly, you can do for coincident lines. Like that only you just third is can take it as homework. Okay, fine. So, only should do a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. Is equal to, all the ratio should be same. That's it. So, moving to the next exercise now. Solving is there, I believe. Yeah, here we have to solve the equation by substitution method. So question number one, you can do, I'm just going to do three sums over here, four sums we do here. Second, uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth, okay. All of you start solving. Solve question number second by substitution method. You know all of you, substitution method, right? So question number second, all of you know now. Question number second. This one I just write here five point this three point one no three point one concept and exercise and now we just write here three point two. Question number one, we have to do now. Question number one. Question number two over here. Question number first, second part. Yes. Solve the following pair of linear equations by substitution method. And see where you went. Yeah, and see, I'm just solving over here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm solving here at two is plus three t is equals to thirty six. There are two equations over here, Ansini. What do you, What is what should be the first step? Yes, Hansini, tell me, tell me, tell me fast. Sir, in this we need to substitute or we need to find what is parallel intersecting. No, no, no. Here, let's just see the question what they're asking. Solve the following pair of linear equation by substitution method. Solve, we have to solve by linear equation by two variables. It means you have to find the value of variables over well there, S and T. You have to solve the value of S and T. Okay. So we can take two as common. Two common, we'll get how we can get two common. There's three in the second part. First part is two. Second part is three. How we can take two common here? Hmm?
You can't take two common here, Hansini. You got the answer, Rani? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, tell me the value of S and T. So for T, I got six and S, I got nine. S is equals to nine and T is equals to six, right? Yes, sir. So nine minus six is three. All right, fine. So Hansini, you are not getting right. Yesterday we have discussed all these sums. Tarishka, you also got the same answer? Yes, sir. I was late. That's why I didn't. Arshid, you got the answer? S is equals to 3 plus T. This is equation number A. We can write S. And this S value we are going to put in equation number 2. So 2 into 3 plus T. Again, plus 3t is equals to 36. Once you are in class 10th, if you are missing out something, you have to see the video from starting. Don't miss anything over here, okay? Others will be lost for you. Again, you will get a burden on you in exam time. You have to revise a lot of syllabus during that time. So 6 plus 2t plus 3t is equals to 36. So 5t is equals to 30. So t is equals to 6. And this t value we can put over here. So 3 plus t, 9. So 3 plus 6 is 9. So we got both the answers. Can you check it out? We got here also. We got here also. So this answer is correct. So next question we are solving. It is fourth one. Anyone solve the question number fourth? Question number So, Hansini, see, first you find x, what we can write from x, from first equation. Tell me, Hansini, x is equals to what we can write. See, try to understand the concept over here. Anyone got the answer just here? Sriyashi, you joined. Oh, so many children yes, are sir. there. So many children are there. I didn't knew only. All of them are joined right now. Why, why you know? Because I have make all the people can join immediately. So, I just didn't see anybody. Apart from these people, four people, five people. Yes, sir. Okay. So, X, this you give the answer for this question of fourth. So, can I? Yes, tell me. So, is it X is equals to 1.3 minus 0 0.3 Y by 0 0.2? Yes. So, just we can write here as 0 0.2 X. Go step by step. Uh, uh, this one, Hansini. Try to understand over here how to move further, okay? X part you write on left hand side, all the things this Y part is sent to right hand side. So we can write here as 1.3 minus 0 0.3 Y, okay? Again, X is equals to, you can write 1.3 minus 0 0.3 Y divided by 0 0.2. This is equation number A, all right? The same X value we are going to put in equation number second. This is second equation, this is first equation. So we can write here 0 0.4 in place of x, we'll write 1.3 minus 0 0.3 y divided by 0 0.2 into plus 0 0.5 y is equals to 2.3. So we'll cancel it here, 2, 2 we'll write. So 2.6 minus 0 0.6 y plus 0 0.5 y is equals to 2.3. Hansi, tell me where you are having doubt over here. Green part, blue part, orange part. Which part are you feeling difficulty here? Sir, so, why did 1.4 minus 0 0.4 like that? 0.4, sorry. 0 0.4 is in question only now. See, second part we are putting the value of x in equation number 2. Okay, Put, we are taking x as 
Yeah, put okay. x in equation number two. If you have taken from equation number one, no, this is we have got from equation number one. From equation first, we wrote here. If you got this from equation number one, we have to write in equation number which equation? Which is equation number two. Okay. If you got this x value from equation number one, same thing you have to put in equation number two. Clear? Yes, sir. So now we just solve over here 2.6 minus 0.1y is equals to 2.3. So 0.1y is equals to 0.3. The so y is equals to what? 3. Yes, sir. Put y in equation number A. Then what do you do? Put y in equation A. Put y in equation number A. So x is equals to what you can write? 1.3 minus 0 0.3 into 3 divided by 2. 0 0.2. So 1.3 minus 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.2. So 0 0.4 by 0 0.2. That is 2, right? 2. X equals yes. 2. So you got X equal to 2. So X is equal to 2 and Y is equals to 3. This is the final answer. Y, X, over. So Hansini, after leaving the class, you have to revise from starting. One, one question, just try to understand and do once again, okay? Then only we come to this level and just can solve the in exam also is here. If you won't solve again, it will happen the same situation. Next question number last one we do now. Question number sixth. Fifth one was easy only. If you just tell me to solve question number fifth part, that was the solve over here. Question number six is here. Anyone solved this question? Yes. First, to try to make it and uh, take the LCM and make it a single line over here first. So LCM first you take. So for the first one. Yes. Nine x minus ten y by six is equal to one. No, it decide also right. Nine x minus. Ten y by six. Is equals to minus two, right? Yes, sir. We can say the six that side, sir. Sir. Minus 12. Okay. So 10y is equals to minus 12, right? Yes, sir. So this is equation number one. And what we can write for x from equation number one, that also we write here only, no problem. So 9x is equals to, we can write 12 minus 12 plus 10y divide, not divided, second step you do now here. Minus 12 plus 10y. Aditi, just you see, don't copy anything. Just try to understand, Hansini. Sir, I did not solve this question at all. I did not solve the first question, the second no, question. No, 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 I'm telling to this one. Hansini, just don't, oh, okay. co don't copy here. Try to understand completely. Later on, you can copy. If you're not getting the notes, call to me anytime. Just send you once again, all right? So just try to understand the whole answer carefully. What we are doing, why it's happening and all. If you copy, you just your mind will get deviated over here. Till here, it's clear to you. Yes, sir. So divide by nine. This you write is equation number A. We got this equation from equation number one. The same x value where you should put in equation number two. The, before that, we have to make the equation number two properly first. Sir, so two x plus three y by six is equals to thirteen by six. After this. After this cross part, multiplication, sir. Directly you can cancel now. Six, six cancel over. Why cross multiplication required? So we got here two x plus three y is equals to what? Thirteen. Equation number two. Now putting the value of x in equation number two. Put x in equation number two. 
So 2 into x that is minus 12 plus 10y divided by 9 plus 3y is equals to 30. Now we can solve easily. Multiply 2 inside over here. So minus 24 plus 20y divided by 9 plus 3y is equals to 13. So minus 24 plus 20y plus 27y divided by 9 is equals to 13. Minus 24 plus 47y is equals to 39 is a 117. So 47y is equals to 117 plus 24. So 47y is equals to 117 plus 24, what will you get? Uh, 137, 141 we get. So y is equals to 3. And then put the value of y in equation number A. Put, put y in equation number 1. A, not 1, it's A. Put y in equation number A. So equation number A here is uh, x minus 12 plus 10y by 9. Minus 12 plus 10y by 9. This is a x. So right here minus 12 plus 30 divided by 9. So 18 by 9 that is 2. So we got the answer. So x is equals to 2 and y is equals to 3. x is equals to 2 and y is equals to 3. Fine. So we solved the question number one completely. Question number two. Question number two is very, very easy sum. Z similar to question number one. Okay. Similar to question number one we have. So 2x plus 3y is equals to 11. And 2x plus 4, 2x minus 4y is equals to minus 24. And hence find the value of m for which y is equals to m is plus 3. First you find the value of x and y. Then should put the equation. Yeah. Solve, 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 and tell me the answer. I don't want to tell the answer for this. And if you're not understanding anywhere, you ask me. Take x from any other equation and just put in the second one. Don't confuse here. There are three, three equations as such. This is the first equation. This is the second equation. From these two equations, you find the value of x and y. That's it. This is equation number one. This is equation number two. Solve for x and y. Then put the value of x and y in equation number third. Do you got here, Hansini? x is equal to 11 minus 3y by 2 you are getting? Yes, sir. This equation number A. The same yes. thing what you do, you just put in equation number second. That's it. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. So you write here 2 and bracket 11 minus 3y divided by 2 in minus 4y is equals to minus 24. So this 2, 2 got cancelled. So we can write here 11 minus 3y again minus 4y is equals to 
minus 24. So 11 minus 7y is equals to minus 24. So 7y is equals to 35. So y is equals to 5. And the same y value put here. This so x is equal to what? 11 minus 3 into 5 divided by 2. So minus 4 by 2, the answer is minus 2 over. And if you got the value of x and y, put in the value of y is equals to mx plus 3. Okay. So question number, uh, uh, this only, same only, y is equals to what you should write here, y is equals to mx plus 3. So m is, uh, y you write here first, 5 is equals to m, we have to find m into minus 2 plus 3. So we can write here 2m is equals to minus 2, the m is equal to minus 1, correct? m is equals to minus 1, that's the answer, over. Yes, sir. Children, we are closing the here only meeting, okay? Today, Sunday, that's why we should move out today. So here only, please, I just let you know on Tuesday then, huh? And you wrote the exams today? Yes, sir, I did, sir. How was the exam? There are 20 questions, right? Yes, sir. You got your marks there only or what? You got your marks there only or later on you get to know? That time you get to know your marks? No, sir. I got my marks. Okay, okay. Fine. Okay, children. Today, that's for today. Uh, Tuesday, we'll just meet. Huh? Tuesday, Tuesday, just uh, evening, we'll start the further things. I think Tuesday, we'll do most of the word problems. We'll start. Because after this question, word problems are there. See, these are the word problems. What we have with us. On that day, we solve on... Tuesday. Okay. So you can leave for the day. Today's. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank Bye, you, sir. sir. Bye. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. 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 Bye.